Today on Refined, get ready for a jaw-dropping adventure. There's nothing I've ever done that's like this. Trip of a lifetime, experience of a lifetime. The dream getaway that will get you up close to wild Alaska. Oh, if it isn't teacher of the year. Plus. I actually lived in Seattle for seven years. Refined chats with a hometown girl who is now the star of a new ABC comedy. <laughs> then. It's nice that you can actually see them making the food right in front of you, and it makes your mouth water. The Seattle lunch spot that serves up fine dining pasta at a fast food pace. Seattle Refined starts now. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Seattle Refined. I'm Guard Swanson. Well, it's that time of year when many people start to get cruise fever. They are itching to get out of town and set sail on a dream getaway. And if adventure is in your blood, then there's one cruise that has your name on it. As Seth Wayne shows us, our sponsor, Windstar Cruises, takes exploration to a whole new level. Imagine for a moment that you're in the middle of nowhere. No cell reception, no hectic everyday schedule, just you. Gliding through the water, soaking in the sights. It's just so beautiful. It's, it's just quite breathtakingly beautiful. It really is. Well, imagine no more, because with Windstar Cruises, it's a reality. The award-winning small ship line returns to Alaska in a big way by launching their signature expeditions program. We can get into smaller coves uh, on this ship, but then even smaller ones that this ship can't get through. Closer to, closer to ice, closer to glaciers, and you get to really feel the awe and majesty of the place more so than you can even from the ship, which is closer than the big ships, of course. We have been kayaking around this majestic area, and it is absolutely spectacular. There's nothing I've ever done that's like this. Trip of a lifetime, experience of a lifetime. No matter your age or your abilities, you hop on a Zodiac or pop into a kayak from the marina deck on board Star Legend. It's your chance to literally get up close, reach out, and feel the last frontier. And you'll meet some new friends along the way. Here we are out in the wilderness, and we're going to go even further in our small boats. Experience Alaska is important because the natural world is really what people are interested in. It's not necessarily uh, gold and silver and, and jewelry in the shops. It's This is, is where we're at, is what people are interested in. This is what the expedition program is all about. We're in the middle of Misty Fjords, absolutely breathtaking. Misty Fjords is a part of the Tongass National Forest, about 40 miles away from Ketchikan, and a spot reserved for only a handful full of ships. The weather's a little wet. Misty Fjords living up to its name today, but I don't think we would want it any other way. Waterfalls all around us. We feel like we're in Alaska. The next day we found sunshine as we ventured into Tracy Arm Fjord near Juneau. Just beautiful, beautiful. This is a bucket list item, checking this off the list. Putting you closer to the ice than ever. So being one-on-one -on -one with guests and being one-on-one -on -one with them, the Zodiacs and the kayaks and here on board, playing chess, playing bridge, it's gotta be so rewarding for you. It is, yeah, we're on this expedition together. Yeah, no, I, I feel very fortunate to have this job and to be working with such an amazing crew of people. I. I go to their lectures and I learn something every day. They're, they're just amazing to work with and yeah, I, I feel lucky from start to finish. Bottom line, it's something that you actually have to experience yourself. Refine wants to send you on an Alaska Windstar cruise. We're giving away a trip for two that includes a 12 night stay. That's right, 12 nights in an ocean view suite. It's an experience you don't want to miss. For complete rules and to enter for a chance to win, head to seattlerefine.com slash winstar. Good luck. From a dream vacation to a dream home. HGTV's Dream Home in Gig Harbor is officially on the market. Refine scored a VIP tour of the 3,500 square foot home last year, and it is gorgeous. The fully furnished home is going for about $1.9 million. To check out the photo gallery, head to seattlerefine.com. Como viewers are getting schooled this winter thanks to a new hit comedy on ABC. Oh, Mandy's and Patty's courtesy of the PTA. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't jump on that. Oh. The beautification club spends every Saturday cleaning up the local parks. Ew. The Goldberg spinoff called Schooled follows Barry Goldberg's ex fiance Lainey Lewis, who's gone from a wannabe rock star to a music teacher at her old high school. I chatted with the star, A.J. Michelka, about the new show. 
Hey, AJ, thanks for joining us today. Now, first off, a lot of people may not know this, but you actually know a lot about Seattle. Did you grow up here? What's going on? I did. I actually lived in Seattle for seven years. Um, so from like one to eight or nine, I want to say, I was living in a very small town outside of Seattle, Washington, and I remember having some really kind of pinnacle moments in my in my childhood there, which is really cool. I was born in L.A. and ended up moving back to L.A., but Seattle was kind of um, the hub of my childhood, so it's, it's neat to be talking with you. Now, what city are you talking about? Like, big Seattle, or are you out in the suburbs? No, this was like Woodenville. I don't know if you're familiar with that area, but um, we lived in a, in a really special neighborhood where, you know, there was no fences or gates it was like every everyone's property kind of lined up against each other it's like what place is like that in LA I mean it was really a, a neat place to grow up and our backyard was practically a forest so we would go on bike rides as kids and um, enjoyed like a lot of outdoor activity for as much rain as there was there I remember Seattle being a pretty stellar place to grow up it is and Woodenville is absolutely beautiful it's like the wine country of the West Coast all right let's talk a little bit about this new show you're in schooled what's up with this I'm excited about schools um, we're about to air episode two and and um, it's kind of been a long time coming in the sense of this has been a spinoff that was, you know, established well over a year ago and um, aired as a special on ABC and, and did really well, but needed to kind of be reworked and retooled. And um, Adam Goldberg, uh, along with Mark Farrick and Doug Robinson, really were at the helm of this show and, and ended up really figuring out the tone and, and um, realizing kind of where it needed to go in regards to just character relationships and who it was going to kind of be told through the eyes of. And I'm, I'm really lucky to um, narrate the show and kind of be at the helm of it all. I'm, I'm super grateful, and I think the two back-to-back -back is kind of like a perfect night for television. Well, if it isn't Teacher of the Year. Look, I see that you're struggling to fit in, and I think I can help. I know what it's like to be new. And I think, um, you know, without ABC and, and Sony's love for this show, it wouldn't be here. So I'm, I'm just happy that, that here we are. We're shooting our 12th episode this week, and I can't believe that we're about to air number two. It's just been, it's, it's been a dream. I'm really excited for you guys to see what's coming up. So, all right, the show was set in the 1990s. Do you actually love filming in that decade? I do. I love filming in the 80s. I mean, I'm, I'm really lucky that I can do this. I, I shot a film years ago that took place in the 60s. I think I've hit the 70s also on a Disney film um, that I was on years ago called Secretariat. And now here I am, you know, hitting the 80s and 90s. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of amazing. What's the hard part about being a teacher in the same school you used to be a student? You better hit me with a hall pass, little missy. Oh, never mind, I forgot. You're a, I'm teacher. a teacher. I don't think I've done anything in the current era of where we're in now in a while I mean the last movie I did was current but everything I'm doing on television is is you know a throwback which is really cool because the 90s are coming back in real life I mean I feel like we're kind of in it right now um, so hopefully people feel you know nostalgic and love for this show like they do for the Goldbergs I mean I'm super connected to the 90s I was a 90s kid so oh yeah um, it's kind of neat to be involved in it yeah that sounds great hey come up to Woodenville and enjoy some wine and thank you join it for joining us today oh I would love to come back I'm Miss Seattle. Thanks so much, Guard. I appreciate it. You got it, AJ. You can catch school tonight at 8.30 right here on Como. How am I supposed to do this? Chattery Fine is just getting started. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, buddy. Wow, you need some moisturizer. I get up close and personal with a friendly rhino and other beloved animals at Woodland Park Zoo. <laughs> Plus, it's not super expensive, but the food is really great. The secret is out about a Seattle restaurant that's got tons of possibilities. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Refined. I'm Gert Swanson. Well, if you're in search of the best burger in western Washington, some people swear that you have to go north up to Bellingham to get it. That includes our dot-com writer, Gretchen Basio. She recently ate at the filling station in Bellingham and said it is seriously one of the best burgers she has ever eaten. The best part? She stumbled upon it by accident. To read her review, head to seattlerefined.com. I love a good burger, but everyone knows I'm kind of more of a pasta guy. And there's a spot in Belltown that is doing the Italian dish right. Refined's Brandon Bernstead takes us to GH Pasta Company. <laughs> On the border of Belltown and South Lake Union, there are literally dozens of lunch spots. But if you're looking for fresh, handmade food and serious value, just follow the crowds to GH Pasta Company. It's not super expensive, but the food is really great. It's nice that you can actually see them making the food right in front of you, and it makes your mouth water. 
Chef and owner Brian Clevenger is the man behind a slew of celebrated Seattle restaurants like Vendemia, La Mese, and Ricolto. He's bringing that same commitment to quality to this fast, casual, lunch-only establishment. Our food is so simple that if it's not prepped every day or with proper technique or methodology, including the pasta, it's just not very good. The pasta is made fresh in-house, and at GH, they go through a lot of pasta. We do one full amount in the morning, and then again about 1.30. Full tray of Gemelli, another tray of rigatoni, full tray of fusilli. Everything here costs nine bucks or less, and it's cooked to order. The goal, get customers their food piping hot in seven minutes. And if you think these dishes will induce a food coma, you'd be wrong. Oh, it's not full of butter and it's not full of cheese and it's not full of like things that make you feel heavy. It's really fresh and light um, and, and it keeps you kind of energized and motivated to, to go back to work. The menu is constantly evolving based on what's in season and what guests like. But there's one pasta that isn't going anywhere. Our most popular dish by far is our gemelli with braised pork, right? Drop the pasta first thing. We'll take our pan. This right here is the liquid that we braised our pork in. That braising liquid is critical. It pushes the flavor of the pasta forward. Here we've got butternut squash, carrot, uh, a little bit of butter, a little bit of chili flake, uh, a little bit of onion sofrito, now we're gonna cook this down. As soon as this comes to a boil, we're gonna add our pasta. We're typically working, you know, sometimes 20, 25 more pastas with a line of 40 out the door, you know? So it's, the key is just don't stop. And you can see we have big pieces of braised pork. We're just gonna cook it now until the pork gets hot. I like to add a little bit of coarse pepper that we toast ahead of time, a teeny bit of Reggiano. We only use 24-month Parmesan Reggiano. We want to use the best product we can, you know, and that, that involves cheese, that involves butter, that involves pepper, you know, these things that maybe get overlooked in a lot of places. We focus on that. Now we're done, look at that. The final touches, fresh parsley, fresh oregano, and more ribbons of that gorgeous 24-month Reggiano. Okay, and here's our finished Gemelli dish. So it's Gemelli, braised pork, Parmesan Reggiano, root vegetables. This looks too good not to try. Fresh, piping hot. I'm gonna get right in there. Unbelievable. The perfect lunch for less than 10 bucks. You cannot go wrong. You guys have to check this place out. For Seattle Refined, I'm Brandon Bernstead. To learn more about GH Pasta Company, head to seattlerefined.com. Coming up, letting go of liquor. We've got some creative mocktails if you're celebrating dry January. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Good boy. <laughs> Plus, we show you a side of Woodland Park Zoo few get to see. Welcome back to the show. I'm Garth Swanson. Well, this week, our refined team is giving some love to Loki. The gray tabby cat is our recent refined spotlight. Loki's owner says he's the perfect gentleman who loves his dog companions and sleep. He can be a bit neurotic at times, but overall, he's very lovable. To check out his refined photo shoot, head to our website. And if you have a refined nomination, let us know all about it. We may love animals on this show, but if you want to see real dedication towards furry friends, then spend a day at Woodland Park Zoo. Refine recently went behind the scenes to see the passionate animal care in person. It's still hours until the first visitors walk through the entrance, but Woodland Park Zoo is alive with activity. Animals are awakening, and the staff is already hard at work. Woodland Park Zoo uh, has an animal care program that's centered around animal welfare, so it comprises of everything from animal nutrition, a comprehensive animal health care program that includes things like preventative medicine and preventative physical therapy programs. We have a fantastic keeper staff here, and see these not just as their uh, charges as is, you know, their eight to five job. Th these are their animals. Among the animals are Glenn and Taj, a pair of 2,000 pound adolescent rhinos. You have no idea how exciting is this for, for many of us who work here at the zoo because this is the first time in our long history at Wilder Park Zoo that we've actually had rhinos. 
Today, Glenn and Taj are starting their day with a shower and some snacks. All right, so how, how am I supposed to do this? <laughs> All right, big guy. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, buddy. Wow, you need some moisturizer. Come here, buddy. Now we're... All right, we're all, we're all pals now. Oh, you can hear him chomping. There you go. Oh, that's a good dog. Uh, good boy. And why are these two special? Uh, Taj and Glenn helped the zoo tell an incredible conservation story. Um, you know, rhinos in the wild are endangered. Having these animals here helps us raise awareness to our visitors. You want to think about animals in captivity as kind of ambassadors for their wild counterparts, right? So we always want to inspire people to really have a good conservation ethic. And we need new conservationists to be going forward and to make sure that these animals always have really safe wild places. Kim Schwan is an animal care manager on Woodland Park Zoo's East Team, working with primates to sloth bears. This is really personal for you, isn't it? Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, I've been working with animals and caring about animals since I was, you know, 10. I mean, it's always been when I was a child, all my books were about exotic animals. Right. And, you know, I went through college and made sure that that was my focus to really um, focus on conservation and wild animals and domestic animals. I could feel that same passion from everyone I met, including John Samaras. Uh, when penguins... For the past nine years, he's been one of the primary keepers of the humble penguin colony. Every penguin's different. I've been... I started working with penguins 20 years ago, and I've never met two that are alike. So you just get to know them individually, and it's really important with penguins to know uh, everything about them, including their normal appetites, their normal behaviors, uh, who they normally hang out with and where. Because anytime you see a departure from that, that can be an indication of a problem. So we're very tuned in to our penguins, uh, each and every one of them. Hey, bud. This is Gomez. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Good boy. <laughs> so that's what I was telling you about the affection. Uh, that's how penguins show affection, right there. Just give him a little scratch. And what kind of personality does this Gomez guy have? Uh, he's very mellow and he's very affectionate. So he really likes attention. Uh, so he always, like I said, greets us in the morning as soon as we come into the exhibit and kind of likes to be by us. Ultimately, that's what sets the animal care program at Woodland Park Zoo apart. For the dedicated members of the team, this is more than a job. It's a calling. We're all here essentially to save animals one way or another. We want to save wild places and, and animals in those wild habitats. It's definitely a passion and a lifelong journey. For more stories on Woodham Park Zoo, just head to our website. We'll be right back. But first, check out our refined, shareable moment of the day. The Wilkinson Bacon Company is a family company out of Walla Walla, Washington, and we've been working on this machine for about two years now. So behind me is the bread robot. It's basically a bread vending machine that puts out a loaf every six minutes. Okay, so we have the hopper here. It's full of dry mix, and we have yeast in here. It'll measure both these out by volume. It'll add it to this pot, and then we'll add water by recipe, measure it out with ultrasonic sensor, and then it'll pop out. We'll create a dough ball with all that, make its way through the oven, which is about 400 degrees, and then it'll come out on the back side, grab the loaf, transition it, and then the customer can come and, and choose any loaf they want. Yeah, I think it tastes like homemade bread. You can go choose your loaf and then you can see it's made like a minute ago because it has that just fresh aspect to it. It's right out of the oven. Welcome back to Refine. You know, with the holidays over and the new year here, many people are celebrating something called Dry January. And if that's you, then we have the perfect read for you. We've listed some of our favorite mocktails to get you through the month, or if you're not a big drinker in general. The menu includes drinks called The Orchard and The Carrot Cooler. To check it out, head to our website. If this winter weather is starting to get you down, here's a little pick-me-up. Also on SeattleRefine.com, we have tips on how to kick seasonal depression. It's a real thing, and it can really impact people in the Northwest this rainy time of year. The list includes steps you can take throughout your day to help ease the pain. It's all on our website. All right, that's going to do it for today's show. I'm Guard Swanson. Thanks for joining us here on Seattle Refine. We will see you next time.